The following is a presentation of Muddy River Sports. Welcome to another episode of Shuck on a Truck. I'm Muddy River Sports Editor Matt Shuckman, hanging out in Camp Point because it's playoff football week, and these three guys got to get ready for Saturday's game. Camp Point Central Panthers, Drew Pabin, Connor Griffin, Reese Wilkie. Thanks for doing this, guys. Yep. Yep. Does it feel like playoff week? Uh, yeah, especially with the weather being the way that it is. Yeah. It's starting to get more of that playoff feel to it. What changes when you get into the playoffs? What, what does the, how does the week feel different? Um, knowing that it could be your last game if you don't go out and do your job and execute. So it kind of makes you want to play even harder than you were regular season and make sure you get a dub. It doesn't change practice, though, does it, Reese? Uh, no, not really. I mean, besides getting Monday off, it's pretty much just the same regiment every time. Keep it the same. We're going to play the same. So, yeah. Number one seed in the, the South Bracken in Class 1A. Unfortunately, you guys didn't get to see the parent show last Saturday night because of the glitch. How disappointing was that not to be able to watch your name come up on that screen? Um, I mean, it was pretty disappointing, but um, most times it's – they don't really talk about us anyway, so <laughs> not that big of a difference. Well, you guys have kind of already taken care of business, so they talk about the teams that maybe snuck in or that yeah. kind of stuff. Um, that didn't happen with you guys, 9-0. and um, What does that mean to you, to go undefeated in the regular season? Uh, it just shows our consistency. I mean, our coaches have coached everybody the exact same way, from freshman to senior. It just shows that we're getting the job done. They're, they're putting us in the right spot to do the right thing. Is there pressure? To go nine and zero or or eight and one or what you know whatever the regular season record would be is there pressure to to maintain that level? Um, I wouldn't say there's really pressure to go nine and zero. I mean it's our goal ultimately, but yeah. I feel like it's more pressure just to make it to the playoffs since it's like the fifteenth year in a row. You know you don't want to be that great or that class to you know shut it, like stop it. You've been through this before the the home playoff games and stuff. What's it like on Saturday morning when you get up and are coming out here for that playoff game? I'm super excited when I wake up. Saturday game, afternoon, a bunch of people are going to be there, playoffs. Um, and it's a home game, so you don't really know how many more of them you're going to have. So just to get to come out and play on the field one more time is really enthusiastic. Connor, what's it like to play in front of this crowd? It's awesome. It really is, especially on those Saturday mornings. I mean, people, I mean, Friday nights are, Friday night lights are awesome and everything, but there's so many more people that come out to those playoff games. It's cold and everything, and just the atmosphere is there. I mean, there's people... There's the away team lined up all across down the track. Yeah. I mean, you can't really see anywhere without seeing a fan. That's part of the tradition here, Saturday games, on the playoff games and stuff. What's it mean to you guys to be part of this tradition? Uh, I mean, I mean, awesome. I mean, I, Because, I mean, we're never going to lose this time, no matter how old we get and everything throughout the years. We always have the, those Saturday games, those Friday games always have – I mean, the year of our, how many wins we have up on the board and stuff like yeah. that. So, I mean, really, it's we're kind of just putting our names in the school and keeping them there. I know there are a lot of traditions that go into Central football. What's your favorite tradition? Making the playoffs. <laughs> I kind of figured you were going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> but that is, I mean, that is something that, that everybody holds dear, isn't it? Okay, I know another tradition is the, the Two Slice Tuesday. Yeah. And how cool is it for you guys to know that the businesses or community members are willing to do that, to pay for pizza for you guys to do that every Tuesday? What does that mean to you guys? It's really awesome. I mean, knowing that we have that support factor from people in our community, businesses in our community, it really just it makes us play for a lot more than just us. Favorite, favorite pizza topping? Pepperoni. I like pepperoni and sausage. I'm plain sausage. Nobody went nobody went oddball. I know when we talked the other day, you threw up pen, uh, pineapple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll stand by that. You'll stand by that? I'll stand by that. I'm, I'm with these two. Man, I, I can't go with you there. It's all right. Taco pizza? Yes. I, I love taco Okay. Pizza. So you'll, you'll go that route? Yes. Okay. Um, favorite pizza place? Papa John's. Definitely Pizza Hut. Yeah. Go with Pizza Hut, too. Are you a breadsticks guy? Oh, yeah. Okay. Of course. Best breadsticks there are is Pizza Hut. Oh, yeah. They're good. They are. They're very good. Uh, this is Shuck on a Truck brought to you by Schottenkirk Toyota. If you're looking to sell your car, Schottenkirk is always buying. And if you're looking for a truck, it's a great place to go. And who knows, I might be in the need of a truck at some point because we keep doing more of these. The truck will get worn out. Yeah. And maybe we'll do more as the year goes on. Hopefully. All right. If, I, if I'm getting a new truck, what should I get? 
Uh, Ford Ranger. No. Oh my God. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need something bigger than that. Mm, let's go with a Ram. Yeah. Big Ram. I get a Ram. I, yeah, that's what you would go with. Mm -hmm. What about you? I would go with a big GMC, but I mean Ram. I have a Ram myself, so. Okay. Gotta love Ram. Okay, I got the the silver truck. I used to have two my my previous two trucks, which I drove for over two hundred thousand miles on both. Mm -hmm. We're Hunter Green. I switched it up this time. Should I stick with the silver or go back to Hunter Green? I think silver, silver looks I'm good. Silver. I like the silver. Okay, we'll do that. Um, and you know, obviously, silver is what you guys got last year, second place finish. Mm -hmm. What would it mean to you guys to be able to, to get the gold this year? I mean everything. I mean, I mean, I think that's what we've all been probably working for for the past whatever it is, almost 12 months now. So, what uh, what's the number one thing you have to do well in the postseason to continue to advance and get to that level? Um, I would say just focus on our techniques. I mean, a lot of people don't think we have the size, which, I mean, we really don't. But with speed and strength and technique that we have, I mean, you've seen it on, on and off the field. Yep. I mean, that's just how we destroy teams and wear them out. The, um, when you look at the bracket, what stands out to you? Or do you guys look beyond your first game? We really want to stay at this first game. We can't move on without focusing on the first game yeah. anyway, so that's always got to stick with it. The whatever... People always talk about, yeah, this team's coming up. What are you going to do with that? But, I mean, we can't get to that team unless we focus on the first one. So we'll get to them when we get to them. But other than that, we're focused on Red Hill. And Red Hill is the first opponent mm -hmm. coming here on Saturday, 2 o'clock kickoff. What do you know about Red Hill? What stands out about Red Hill? Um, they have some size. They're pretty young, but those young guys have some size. Uh, also, the drive that they have, four and a half hours, we're going to kind of have to use that to our advantage, too. They're be waking up early tomorrow early in the morning and uh wanting to get down here get ready so we're just going to be wearing them out already and you guys should get good rest yes because you're at home oh, yeah. does that mean an early curfew on friday night sadly yes yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but worth it right yeah. oh yeah definitely the um if there's one thing people should know about central football what's the most important thing people maybe somebody from red hill watches this what should they know about Central football? We're not going to stop. I mean, we're going to play the whole game. We're going to play as hard as we can, so we're not allowed to anymore. That's, I think that's probably what makes us the best is that we'll put we'll put all of our starters out there, and then we'll get we'll play until we get taken off the field, and we got a second squad. going to do the exact same thing. Brad Dixon wouldn't have it any other way, would he? No. What is he like as a coach? What's the best way to describe him? Caring. I mean, he's going to get after you when you mess up, but he does it because he loves you. He wants you to get better. He wants to see you improve as a football player and a person so it's on and off the field. Um, so, yeah, probably caring is what I'd say about him. We're recording this behind the maintenance building, and I think Mr. Gooding just kicked up some machines inside. So if you hear some noise in the background, blame Mick Gooding for that. <laughs> the um, But Coach Dixon, and I think uh, caring is a great word for him, having known him all these years. But I think that extends to the entire coaching staff, oh, doesn't yeah. it? Oh, yeah. What, what – if there's a guy that you guys know you can depend on on that staff, who is it? All of them? Yeah. yeah. I mean, they've always showed up every single time for us on and off the field. So, I mean, we trust all of them, I feel like. Who makes you laugh the most, though? I would say Coach Ray. Yeah, probably. Really? Coach Ray. Okay. Coach Ray or his dad? Monroe. I would say. See, I would have thought Monroe might have been the guy. Monroe when he starts yelling at the D-line. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, that, that is, that is funny. Now, I know you guys play other sports. Don't need to worry about those till after Thanksgiving, right? Mm -hmm. Nope. If that is indeed the case, and you're not getting to your other sports until after Thanksgiving, will you be on cloud nine? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Meaning you've made it to Hancock's. Now it'll be a different place this year, Hancock Stadium, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. ISU. doesn't matter though where it's at, does it? No, nope, not a bit. Just want to get there. It's still state. That's right. Well, good luck on that. I know it kicks off this Saturday, 2 o'clock here in Camp Point against Red Hill. And uh, hopefully we get to do this maybe a time or two more yep, as the will. postseason rolls on. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you guys doing this. Yep, thank, yep, you. thank you. For Drew Pabin, Connor Griffin, Reese Wilkie, I'm Matt Shuckman. This has been another episode of Shuck on a Truck. Brought to you by Schottenkirk Toyota. Muddy River Sports. Our home, our sports.